Hello, everyone. Welcome to lesson ten. I'm Miss Eileen. Today we'll talk about subtracting within one thousand. Okay, so it's still about minus, but there will be something adding up. Before we start, let's do some review. Okay, so last time we talk about addition, which means plus. So let's do this together. First question: Add six to two. Okay, let's add six to two. You can write two plus six or six plus two. Remember the fact family; it's the same. Okay, so two plus six or six plus two gives you eight. How about forty-seven to nine? So add forty-seven to nine. You can do it. Forty-seven to nine. Now mental calculation. Forty-seven is very close to fifty. So in order to make a fifty, you need three more. Okay. So after giving out three, what's left? Six. So three plus forty-seven, which is fifty. Fifty. Add up six. Fifty-six. Okay. What is the sum? Who remembers this? Sum means the total. Okay. So total, we still use plus. Fifteen plus eighty-four. Okay. So we can do it in the vertical form, and that gives you four plus five nine, and one plus eight nine ninety nine as your answer. So our new topic is subtracting without regrouping. Okay, we will talk about the regroup later. But let's look at these six minus three. That's easy. That gives us three. And forty-nine minus twenty-five. Let's put it in the vertical form. Forty-nine minus twenty-five. Don't forget, we still have to work from the back. Okay, so nine minus five, that's a four. Four minus two, it's a two. So your answer will be forty. No, sorry, twenty-four. How about this? Six hundred and eighty-one minus two hundred and forty. Okay, one minus zero, one. Eight minus four, four. Six minus two, still four. So your answer will be four hundred and forty-one. Now, here comes the challenge: subtracting with regrouping. Okay, I will walk you through this slowly. Now, twenty-eight minus. Nine. Okay. Wait a minute. There's an eight, and I have nine. How can I subtract nine from eight? Because eight is smaller than nine. So what we need to do? We need to borrow from here. Okay. We need to borrow from two. So let's regroup it. Instead of two, I borrowed one from you. So now you only have one. As for me, I already got that one from you, so I got that one from you. So actually, I'm an eighteen now. See, it's one and eight, so it's eighteen. What is eighteen minus nine? It's nine. And how about here? Now, are you still two? No, you're not. You're one already because I just borrowed one from you. So I write down that one. So your answer will be nineteen. Okay. Now look at the next one. Eighty-three minus forty-six. Okay. Ah, again, you have three, and I need a six. You don't have enough. If you don't have enough, we have to regroup. Okay. So let's borrow from eight. Now, instead of eight, I borrowed one from you again. So you only have seven. Okay. And I have one up here. So I'm. Now no longer three. I'm thirteen. Okay, so it's one and three. So thirteen. Thirteen minus six, seven. And this now not eight. Okay, you crossed that eight out already. So you are seven. Seven minus four, three. That's how you get the answer.
Now, another one. 736 minus 647. Okay? Now, let's look at this. Oh, 6. So it's not enough because I need a 7. So let's borrow from this. Okay? So now you have only 2 because I already borrowed 1 from you. Now, I become 1, 6, which is 16. 16 minus 7, you get a 9. Okay? Now, 2. 2 and 4. Oops. Oops. I don't have enough. What to do? I need to keep borrowing. Okay? I borrow from 7 then. Okay, so 7 now becomes 6. And I borrowed 1 from you. So I put a 1 here. So now, instead of 2, I become 12. So 12 minus 4, you will have 8. And 6 instead of 7, 6 minus 6, that gives you a 0, which means your answer will be 89. Okay, let's do some practice. Now, the first one, subtract 9 from 19. Okay, so how do you understand this part? It's subtract 9 from 19. So we write it as this. Okay, 19 minus 9. And you will get, that's easy, 10. Okay, the second, subtract 45 from 382. So let's write it 382 minus 45. Now, I think you need some regrouping because, look, this is a 2 and this is a 5. So, you don't have enough. Let's borrow from this 8. So, now 8 becomes 7 and I put a 1 over here instead of a 2. I become 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. And 7 minus 4 is 3. And 3 minus nothing is still 3. So, that's your answer. Okay? Now, next question. What is the difference? You still remember difference? Difference between 64 and 29. So you will have to minus. Okay. When you see difference, that means minus all the time. Now, 64 minus 29. You might need to do regrouping again. Because 4 is not enough for 9. So therefore, let's borrow from 6. Okay, we regroup. So instead of 6, it becomes 5, and I give you 1 tenths here, okay? So I become 14. 14 minus 9, that's a 5. And 5 minus 2, that's a 3. Yes! Okay, we got the answer here, which is 35. Okay, are you ready? Here comes the last question, okay? Let's do this. What is the difference between 379 and 742? So let's write down 742. We know that difference means minus, so let's minus. Okay, now let's do some regrouping. Two, not enough. Let's borrow from the four. Okay, so 4 becomes 3, and I become 12. 12 minus 9, 3. And 3 is not enough for 7. What do you do? You have to keep borrowing, okay? So now, we borrow from the 7. 7 becomes 6. And I get 1 from it. So I get 1 tenths, which is 13. 13 minus 7, 6. Now, 6 minus 7. Three, the last one, 363, that's your answer, okay? Mm, the regrouping part sometimes are confusing, so make sure you do it slowly, one by one. Do not rush. Okay, so that's the end of the class, and this is the last video for the whole lesson, okay? I really hope you enjoy, and... I hope see you soon. Bye. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.